getting noisy here in Boston. We're at the home of the Celtics. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. We're going to bring you the NBA right here on 2K Sports. And so off the tip, it's Oklahoma City. Now a chance, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. The starting five on the floor. So for Oklahoma City right now, ran outside of the field with the Rocket playing the power forward. Jackson is out there with Russell Westbrook. And it's Perkins in its center. Serge Ibaka, the 24th pick by the Thunder back in 2008. From the start, Steve, his incredible work ethic has shown through. No doubt, Kevin, he's become one of the best two-way players in the NBA. Excellent defender. Oh my. Can guard fours and fives. A terrific weak side shot blocker. And that jump shot, that 17-footer, has given Oklahoma City the spacing that that offense needs. Now, here's Bradley. And the defense fouling there to prevent that layup, forcing two free throws here. Nice job that time of attacking the paint and drawing the contact. They'll take that. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And so Bradley nails both of them. Celtics on D. Westbrook kicks to Jackson. Right side Jackson. Right side Jackson drops one in from the wing. And for Ibaka, his offseason trainer also worked with Kevin Garnett. And he said right. that's who Ibaka reminds him of with his intensity and attention to detail and drills. And that's something that's overlooked. Being a perfectionist while you're practicing allows you to perform at a high level. And he's the type that wants to do it again and again until he gets it right. Just five to shoot. Green inside the three-point line. Great D that time from Durant. Down low. Here's Jackson. Oh my. Slammed home and he draws the foul you chance it. for another point at the free throw line. It's going to be on Avery Bradley. But the defense just looked a little lazy on the glass there. Yeah, nobody boxing out. That's inexcusable. And you know, you think about Ibaka's development, part of his adjustment to the NBA initially was just learning the language. When he first was drafted, he barely spoke a, a lick of English. And now it's become his fifth language. That's good. That's a nice job of getting the ball in the paint and burying the shot. That's exactly how it's done. Rondo against Westbrook. Outside Durant. On the high post. And that one goes long. No breathing room at all to take that shot. Rondo against Jackson. Rondo with it. Outside Bradley. Right side Bradley. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Avery Bradley out of Texas, one of the elite perimeter defenders in the NBA. A guy who can really give you nightmares bringing the ball up the floor. 6'2", but with long arms, and he can defend both guard well, positions. Saw... Really pressures the ball well. And despite his 6'2 oh, size, it's pretty clear that offensively, Avery Bradley is not on, a point guard. He's worked hard on developing his ball handling, especially his left hand, but he's certainly at his best when he's playing off the ball. I saw. Here's Durant. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. Durant's got five now. Well, he's off to a good start, and he's a guy who we know. I mean, if he gets going early, he can give you problems all day. Yeah, but it's not like no uh, Rondo kicks to Green. Back to Rondo. On the wing, Green. Bass with a screen for Green. Rondo with that clean look hits it from three point range. And you talk about Bradley playing the two. He's worked to put weight on up over what I think it's 200, 210 pounds, you were saying. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it. He, he looks stronger. He's, he's added some weight. Remember, he underwent surgery on both shoulders a couple of seasons ago, but now he's healthy. And uh, with that strength, with that defensive awareness, with the quickness, uh, he's got the ability to be a, a really good player. And it's Durant, that time on the assist by Westbrook. That's seven points for Kevin Durant. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. 
That is his first foul of the game. Celtics making a switch here. Olenek's checked in. And Oklahoma City with a change here, too. Adams checked in. Jackson comes over with the double. Bradley dishes to Green. Feeds it to Rondo. Duran against Green. Back to Rondo. Just five on the clock. Here's Sollinger. Oh, the yeah. Get the ball. Can't hit. Now, Oklahoma City takes it the other way. And Kevin Durant with the slam. What a smooth finish. Well, he's certainly the one they right. won on the end of those breaks. He always finishes oh, strong. Outside Rondo. Green kicks to Rondo. Here's Olenek. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. Serge Ibaka picks one up there. Kelly Olenek out of Gonzaga was a point guard for the majority of his high school career before growth spurt shot him up to seven feet tall. You can see the result of playing point guard for so long. He's a big man with shooting and ball handling skills of a much smaller player. And a new group in for the Celtics. Gerald Wallace, he's checked in for Jared Sullinger. Turner comes in for Jeff Green. Marcus Thornton, he's checked in for Bradley. And Smart subbed in for Rajon Rondo. And then for Oklahoma City, Nick Collison's checked in for Ibaka. Morrow comes in for Kevin Durant. And Jeremy Lamb subbed in for Jackson. Giving them an opportunity at second chance points with some hard work on the glass there. And Olenek, growing up in a basketball family, his father, a coach at the collegiate level, yeah, very well. also coached his own kids. His mother, a longtime referee. So Kelly's instincts and understanding of the game certainly have benefited from that wealth of knowledge growing up. And it's Turner finishing it off. Absolutely, Clark. No one in his airspace on that dunk. Yeah, but come on, Kevin. The defense oh. can't let that happen. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they have better happen more. It's fun to watch that guy fly. <laughs> Just a gift. Two points they gave up. That's awful. And Olenek in his final season at Gonzaga, leading Division I basketball, Clark, and player efficiency rating. Well, we know the analytics guys are going to love this, but he shot 63% from the field. Kevin, even shooting a number of shots from the perimeter. Is that your mom's a survey of NBA GMs ranked him the top steal of the draft, and I wouldn't disagree with that. He's a big guy that's mobile, steals, tremendous upset. Let's go. Steven Adams from New Zealand, the first Kiwi card ever drafted in the man. first round. And Kevin, he played rugby growing up. He says that it helped him prepare for the physicality of playing inside. And one thing I like about Adams, right. maybe it's the rugby background, he plays with so much aggression. Crazy. But always keeps an even keel. He's the one who sort of initiates contact and he becomes an irritant with his opponent. But he never retaliates, and that's real toughness. Perry Jones, he's checked in for Russell Westbrook. He's off on the second. I'm always going to you guys. Boy, you look at Stephen Adams. He's got an impressive frame. I'm about to forget that he's only 21 years old. So he's got room to grow and to get stronger, both when you consider skill development and his physicality. He could really be one of the most imposing big men in the league for a long time going forward. Here's Lamb after the made shot from Evan Turner. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. From deep. Here's Adams. Rebound oh, by Moss. Tell you what, if there's success <laughs> on the boards in this first quarter is any indication, it's going to be a good day. And rebounds usually are a good indicator. And no question, he got bumped on that shot. Definitely no room for discussion on that one. Well, Celtics shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. Well, you look back at a season ago, this is a club that made 78% of its shots from the free throw line, so very comfortable with that strike. Pick and you roll. Know, Kevin, they would love to post a Pick similar percentage again this season. I mean, I think that's safe to say they'd love to shoot free throws as well as they did a year ago. Plenty of offense in this closely contested first quarter.